There's a man is behind bars accused of abusing nursing home patients. Tonight, more people are coming forward with concerns that their loved ones may have been mistreated as well. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park has more on the latest developments. That's right, Malcolm. A third woman is now telling us her father may have been mistreated or abused here at the Whitehall Healthcare Center on West 10 Mile in Novi. She tells us authorities need to be investigating these allegations further. 28 year old certified nursing home assistant William Thomas Hill is in jail tonight, facing abuse charges stemming from the allegations made earlier this week that he beat a patient at the Whitehall Healthcare Center in Novi. These are pictures of Thomas Johns, bruised and hospitalized after the alleged attack. His wife, Beth Johns, remains by his side during recovery and tells Action News thanks go out to the Novi Police Department for their outstanding and expedient arrest of this individual. My husband is doing as well as to be expected. Her her story sparked others to step forward with more abuse allegations at the same nursing home. Family members say Thomas John's brother, Ronald, was also mistreated and abused at Whitehall while he was a patient there several years ago. And tonight, Deborah Smith of Clarkston says she suspects her father suffered similar treatment during the last several months of his life. You would try to touch him, he'd say, don't touch me, don't touch me, and he won't want nobody touching him. When he left my house, he was perfectly fine. And this all happened within six months, very, very fast. Thomas McClendon became a patient at Whitehall last June. Deborah says his dementia got much worse within months, and by the end of February, she was getting ready to put him in hospice. He died on the 26th, and that's when Smith says she noticed bruising around his neck. Deborah didn't alert police, but says her daughter made a report to state authorities. I did ask the DON. I wanted answers. Um, and she didn't have much to say. She really didn't say a whole lot, and I just asked her to leave the room. Deborah says she grew suspicious of the treatment her father was getting, but this health care center was one of the only ones in the area he could afford. I guess that's what you, you know, you get what you pay for, which is sad. It's a human life. And now, after news of William Hill's arrest, Deborah says she hopes more will come to light and that she and other families can have their concerns addressed. A spokesperson for the nursing home tells me tonight she was not aware of this latest allegation. She said she will be looking into it and that they will be cooperating with any state or local authorities if need be. Live in Novi, Jane Park, 7 Action News.